driver's gear, shaft gear, go in like that. And then this is the third gear, the bottom gear. Notice this shaft with the growth should go in, should, should go in last. You can see here, so we're gonna try to put this gear down just like that. So this actually has two gear. Let me see if I can pull this out. This actually has two gear attached together. You know, each of these three, one, two, and three, all have three, all have um, a big one on top and a smaller one at the bottom so that one can turn the other. Okay? Yeah, this one just has a gear by itself. But this one, each of these three, one, two, and three, all these three have um, gear at the bottom, facing down. That's how you install them, so that one can turn the other. Okay, so I'm going to try to put it together. Here in, you can see the bottom gear will be the teeth will be mating with this gear exactly and you can see when I turn that first gear first gear is going to turn the shaft gear and then this is the second uh, it's going to go down to the left and then you can see when I turn this second gear it's going to turn the first gear first gear is going to turn the shaft gear you can see there and then this is the last one supposed to go here attached to that and then again there is a bottom gear that mate to the second gear and the bottom of the second gear will mate to the third gear and the bottom of the third gear will turn the shaft gear so that, that's how it's supposed to work and this is going to sit like that the way this is going to be able to sit like that is it's actually sitting upside down like that in the cover. So we're going to try to put this everything back in and hopefully and of course we're going to put this into the grove to keep the water out of this trolling motor. Okay? So there you have it. Nobody has disclosed this much to you and like I said subscribe of my channel it will be given to you. there we go so, yeah this black ring it's um, not willing to stay in there so we're gonna apply a very thick round of grease so that it will stay in and never come out I made the two pieces together it will stay in there oops come on stay in there yeah this transmission um, motor guy don't sell it separately so if you lose a gear in here a piece in here even the ring o-ring then you're done you have to spend like two hundred twenty dollars, thirty dollars plus tax for it. So this is what you have for this uh, transmission, and these two are the uh, wires that feeds into the transmission. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking a picture, and then we're going to put everything back together. And this is the uh, computer main uh, brain. Okay, it's locked into the metal. Uh, plate by one screw here, Phillips screw one, Phillips screw two, Phillips screw three. Okay? And these two black and red wire are going to be connecting to these two black and wire to the transmission. So this is this is the computer brain. This is the brain of the trolling motor. Sends the signal to the right turn or left turn or stop, uh, power on, power off, and then, you know, here. Okay? So, 
this is ready to uh, be mated and together, so we're going to try to do that now. And, uh, put on my okay, so we're going to be mating the two together, and hopefully everything will be cool. There we go. Yeah, the problem is this top gear is going to try to mate the motor's gear. See if we can mate it this way. So the hard part is this. Back there, it's mating perfectly. I'm not sure what's wrong here. That's not mating perfectly. Maybe the wires are in the way. Maybe the gears are in the way. Something is in the way. Interesting, so we're going to try to see what's not The backs are made together beautiful. The front takes some pressure, and I do not like that. I do not like this front not making well. So, I'm going to try to slightly open it up and see what happens before. But before I do that, I want to take a break.